Their coalition for health promotion and social development, Helps Uganda, has been working in Uganda to make health rights and responsibilities a reality. The organization's community empowerment, health policy advocacy, and system strengthening work has over the years been anchored in the different strategic plans. The immediate past strategic plan envisioned a just and fair society in which all Ugandans can exercise their health rights and responsibilities with a mission of ensuring equitable access to health services with special focus on access to essential medicines through empowering communities and health policy advocacy for a health system that meets the needs of Ugandans. Under the 2016-2020 strategic plan helps Uganda empowered communities in different districts to exercise their health rights and responsibilities, influenced policy, continued to monitor availability of essential medicines and health services, strengthen internal systems, build and strengthen partnership as the organization marked 20 years of operation. Today, Helps Uganda is glad to unveil the 2022-2026 strategic plan, a guide that will transform the organization from good to great with a goal of improved health and socio-economic outcomes. With a new vision and mission, Helps Uganda will implement pillars of health accountability, knowledge development, management and learning, social enterprise and investment, and institutional development, all enshrined in the 2022-2026 strategic plan. This new strategic plan encompasses five strategic shifts from the 2016-2020 strategic plan, making it a more comprehensive, more people-centered, and more needs-responsive plan. These strategic shifts are from focus on health promotion to social development for and health promotion, from predominantly health advocacy focus to a more multi-sectoral engagement, inclusive of stakeholders outside health, from focus on public sector advocacy and passive engagement with private sector advocacy to broader advocacy beyond public sector and more active engagement with the private sector. From passive use of technology as support to programs to active use of technology to increase programming and from no service delivery to involvement in service delivery. Through research, partnership, capacity building, community empowerment, policy analysis, advocacy, media engagement, planning, implementation of plans and policies, fundraising, investment, good management and organization leadership, implementation of the 2022-2026 strategic plan will be successful and the goal of improved health and socioeconomic outcomes will be realized.